Illinois school districts will have to submit how much they're going to collect in property taxes for the coming school year. The problem is they don't know how much and they don't have any idea what they're getting from the state. Now, state capital reporter Connor Hendricks has a look at how districts are still trying to navigate the process. Every year, the Iowa legislature sets something called state supplemental aid. It's how much money the state will give each school district for each student. House lawmakers passed a 3% increase, but Senate lawmakers haven't. Senate Minority Leader Pam Yoakum says the issue is usually settled early in the session. We are already in violation of the law. This should have been decided 30 days after we started session. Here we are, day 67, no funding. Friday, districts have to let their county auditors know what their tax levy will be for the upcoming school year. Tony Voss, superintendent of the Hudson Community School District, says districts are having to come up with their best guess of what the SSA will be. When we don't know that number, it means that school districts, when they're trying to set that levy rate, they have to run multiple scenarios and then and then just really make their best guess as to where the, the legislature is going to come in. Voss says Hudson CSD isn't anticipating any tax increases or program cuts, but if the SSA comes in lower than expected, some districts may have to raise property taxes. Whatever your supplemental state aid is impacts what your tax rate is. So for some school districts, particularly those that are in a declining enrollment pattern, uh, the lower supplemental state aid is, the higher their tax rate is gonna be. Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitford says though the education budget isn't done, there will still be lots of funding for schools. Yeah, I'm disappointed the SSA number isn't done. Uh, the good news for school districts is there's a lot of money in this budget for schools. It's in different places. It's kind of complicated because they're in different bills and so it's been um, not as streamlined as I hoped, but um, uh, hopefully we get that resolution soon. As for a timeline for Senate lawmakers to pass a school funding bill, Senator Whitford says that's to be determined. He adds that he spent a significant portion of this session trying to get the AEA reform bill through. At the Iowa State Capitol, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting. Well, and here